Hello my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes, and welcome to Monster Planet, where I talk about a monster's brief history, how it affected our modern world today, and how media portrays the monster. I'm your host Marlon Gonzalez, and today's monster is sure going to make you want to scream. So let's get started. Today's monster is Ireland's wailing spirit, the Banshee, also known as the Woman of the Fairies. But before the Banshee, actual women called Keeners did their jobs for them. Historical records show that keeners were active around the 8th century, and also some time after. They were hired to grieve either at a funeral or outside of a house when someone was expected to die. There were clues in some legends to suggest that banshees served the ancient Celtic noble families, like the O'Neills, the O'Briens, the O'Connors, the O'Grady's, and the Kavanaugh's. The special abilities that the banshees possess are their famous wailing scream, which can be heard for miles. It upon itself is a powerful message, which can send chills down any person's spine. And their ability for premonitions, isn't that a scary thought? The Banshee itself has affected the modern world today in a lot of ways. The legend of this wailing ghost has sparked many creative minds. A few of these creative minds that were influenced by the Banshee was Roy Thomas, Werner Roth, and Stan Lee. These three comic legends were influenced to create the once super villain turned superhero by taking the abilities and some aspects of the monster and turning it into a real hero. Besides comics, the famous TV show Scooby Doo has an array of monsters that influence its show, and one of them is the Banshee. This monster is one of many that has affected Ireland and Europe as a whole. It has solidified places in Ireland as landmarks of banshee sightings and stories. Media has morphed and reshaped the banshee as just a simple messenger of death. Shows like Scooby-Doo, Supernatural, and Teen Wolf they simplified the monster's story and abilities, but the main core and spirit of it still resides. There's so much lore and content to be condensed into a certain amount of time for this one screamer. I, for one, love watching the Scooby-Doo Creepy Canyon and Banshee and the Staff. The writers have really simplified it to a nice and understandable way for kids so they can understand the intrigue and overall scariness of the Banshee. But I digress. No matter what media platform they're in, they'll always scream their ways into our hearts. And that, my friends, is one way to shout it out to the world. I've been your host, Marlon Gonzalez, for Monster Planet, and I hope you have a pleasant day. <laughs>